50 Cent always has a good sense of humor. Well, today he's taking shots at Floyd Mayweather. Just because you got money doesn't mean you get fly every day. This is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. YFT Wavy, straight out of Philly. New music and visuals on the way. He's got the I Found It video below. Go check out his YouTube. Check out. There was a way I found it. Get to the bag and count it. Don't you talk if you're not about it. And if you want to run ads on the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Floyd Mayweather looks real spooky at the game. Real spooky. I mean, he's dressed like he's straight out of Jumanji. 50 Cent couldn't have done it better. He photoshopped him in the Jumanji movie cover. And he took Kevin Hart's place. Now, what was Floyd Mayweather thinking when he dressed like this to go to the game? I mean, he looks like... He looks crazy, man. Like he's wearing a small baby coat with some cowboy boots over the over the jeans. I mean, yeah, he's worth a billion dollars, right? But damn, doesn't mean you can dress so 50 cent ways. And he says, champ, I love you to death. But where the fuck was you going in this outfit? It looks like he's going on a wild safari. Then he says champ on his movie shit that's all the rock ain't got shit on champ den of thieves power then he said i'm gonna have to take this down floyd gonna call my phone hot <laughs> now floyd mayweather looks crazy i mean he's had some crazy outfits but this one it's crazy now on other news 50 cent bmf what's up with this okay he posted up uh Big Meech the other day, and you know he kind of just saluted the whole thing, and you know, but but like, where is it? When's it gonna come out? I know Fifty Cent's working on a million things, but this is the thing everybody wants to see, and I know he only has a certain amount of time to produce it. He lost it from the same guy that did Straight Outta Compton, uh, L. T. Hutton. He had this script rights before Fifty Cent, but. He lost the rights because he waited too long to produce it. So he said the only way to top power is BMF. I'm just making sure there's no mistakes are made coming soon. So it's still coming, but it's postponed. Uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to this. Uh, so we, we got to see when this comes. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're ever going to get it? Okay, so we're here with Shorty Low. This is a new segment we're doing here on the channel. This is called That Shorty Low. It's giving his insight on everything. We got low here. And uh, the first thing we're talking about today is the 50 cent BMF deal that just went down. We're, uh, I guess 50 cents doing a series. You've heard about this, right? He's doing this series on BMF and Big Meech. And Big Meech gave his blessings from jail, you know, uh, through writing a letter through 50 cent, you know, commended him on power and everything. What do you think about that? I think about it, and I think it's a great thing about me, you know what I'm saying, watching, you know, just brought up the show Power. Power is like my favorite show. Yeah, TV me too. Right I now. love that damn show. And, you know, my boy, you got to give a shout out to uh, James St. Patrick, man, Ghost, man, you know, that's my favorite character <laughs> in, the, in the story, man, so, you know, I, I'm really digging it, and Fitty City is doing a very good job with it, so it, it, it will only be right, you know, if, you know, if he did the BMF story, man, because BMF story, man, it's a powerful story, man, you know, by Big Meats coming from Detroit, you know what I'm saying, and spanning out to Atlanta doing this thing, you know, the uh, Black Mafia family, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's just, you know, I feel like the story got to be told right, you know what I'm saying, and, and they're going to sit down and do a lot of hours with Meats, the head of, the, you know, the organization, and, you know, and all those, you know, who was in the organization, man, but, you know, Meats, you know what I'm saying, real dude, man, you know, he, he, he stamped up, stamped, you know what I'm saying, didn't tell on nobody, you know, and everybody look at that, man, good way. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, he's actually doing a full 30 years, so obviously he didn't tell on anybody, so that's a real dude right there. Now, do you remember, like, those days, those BMF days, do you remember seeing them ever in the club, or all the money they were spending? Remember seeing those DVDs with it? Oh, yeah. You I were mean, in I Atlanta mean, during that Yeah, time. basically, you know, I ain't really know what the DVD person, but, you know, meets my guy, man, you know, we... We, you know what I'm saying? We kicked it on a couple of different things, man. You know, I you know, love the brother, man. You know what I'm saying? He had big goals, man. You know, there's a lot of hate going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
I'll never want to see you where you at. Well, uh, do you remember anything about those days, though? Those BMF days? Do you remember ever seeing him in the club and those nights where he's throwing tons of money that everybody oh, yeah. talks about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't say anything. You know what I'm saying? But when it first started, you know, I was in prison. You know, I was in right. prison facing 20 to 40 years. You know, I was trying Damn. to help. I was trying to wiggle my way out of that that type of stuff, man. You know, that's when I had first heard of uh, Young Jeezy, you know, when I was in oh, prison. Yeah. You know, cause back then, I was a, I was a TI fan at the time. And, Boy, Mook B had told me one time, like, when I called home, he was like, Lo, boy, it's a new rapper, like, you know, Jesus, man. He said, man, you, you ain't gonna like goddamn, uh, T.I. no more. Jesus talking about the shit you, you goddamn do for real. You live for real. I'm like, on the phone, man, man, you gotta be crazy. This and this. I said, boy, this and this. So when I got to my camp, and I had bought me a, a radio, and I was on a uh, list of the radio, and I heard him, oh, saying, if it's taking too long to, to lock up, bring it back, and I'll listen. I'm, I'm like a, a, a chef over the stove in Houston. Yeah. I said, man, the man know what they talking about, man. So, you know, and that would kind of make me like to know that, oh, shit, you can talk about stuff you do, and this and this, you know. Yeah. And you know, that when I came home, really talking about the stuff I do, you know. Oh, so that's, that's what got you started rapping, the young Jeezy. You said, okay, he's talking about the shit he's doing. I'm fucking, I'm going to do it too. Yeah, I, I had to because really the streets really provoked me to do it when yeah. I came home because, you know, a lot of people thought D4L was basically like a dance group laughing, tapping, and all yeah. that. But you know, and um, I like I wrote one song. It was called "I'm the Man," and, and that would pro provoke me to rap. Cause people were like shout low. We want to hear that music right there from you. We want to hear all that that, yeah. that dance shit. We we know you from back here for real. We know you live for real. We want to hear you. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I said, damn, this is the first song I ever wrote. Mm -hmm. and I thought I did it by luck. I just kept writing, and doing more songs. I got about my fourth or fifth song, uh, Let's Get It. And it's, you can hear it, you can hear the, uh, inside the music. Like when I'm telling you, I'm gonna find my style, I'm gonna find my swag. You can nip it in the bud, you can put it in the bag. So you can, you can hear my horn for me, my introduction into the rap game right yeah. then. Okay. Now, I'm looking forward to this BMF series because the Power series is crazy. Oh, so crazy, crazy. The BMF series gotta be crazy. You know, they're gonna probably uh, amplify some of the scenes and really bring uh, bring a movie to with all these stories we heard about with Big Meech. You what, know? You, what you think they going to do, the movie or the series? I think they should do the series. They say, keep yes. saying movie, but I think a series yes. will be way... I series. love series because like, yes. it doesn't end. You know, like you can't, you're looking forward to an... It's like mini movies because they're like an hour long, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, yeah. it's way better than a movie. Yeah. So hopefully they go in that direction. I know they've talked about a movie, but they, they have mentioned series, right? Am I wrong? No. Right. Yeah. So that'll be good. And uh, obviously, they got to find somewhere to play Big Meech. Right. That's going to be hard, right? I don't think it'll be like that. You know, you got a lot of fake looking like I have. We love to play Big Meech. So you're going to yeah. they go they're down to make themselves <laughs> look like them if they don't look like them. Yeah. A lot of people have been hating on 50 Cent doing this thing you know they were trying to i guess df hutton you saw that guy that was like trying to hate on 50 cent doing the BMF whatever what did, what did he say he was not... saying something about like oh he's not really going to do it or just hating on it you know like some people are hating on the whole you know making a movie of the bmf thing but the, I, I think what, that's a story that needs to be told do you remember those billboards that bmf had oh yeah that yeah that was crazy yeah. right i remember my that was my first time coming to atlanta 2004 mm -hmm. and i saw that um I saw that billboard, the BMF, the world is yours, or something, yeah, like, like yeah, something like that. Yeah, right? And I was yeah. like, damn, these guys are getting paper, man. Yeah, like, they had a right. billboard right above uh, Jermaine Dupri's billboard. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Welcome to the city, man. Yeah. So they pretty much ran Atlanta, BMF, for those few years. Well, you know. No, they were a big they, influence. They, yeah, there was a big influence, you yeah. know, a big influence, you know. They set the bar a yeah. little higher, right? Yeah, they set the bar a little higher. You said that. Because you were doing your thing back then, but, you know, they yeah. they were just like a team of people doing it. Yeah, they, but they, they, they were like Walmart, they, Yeah, they, right? see, they, see, they had, we'll be honest, they had them at Chapo Plug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they had, <laughs> had them at direct, they had Chapo direct Plug. to Mexico. Uh, so. Yeah, see, I, I, mean, see, I, had them, I had this, you know, I ain't no, no lie, my plug, they were down, got yeah. Miami and West Palm, you know, that was my accent was that, but you know, yeah. but you know, my, my my dad, you know what I'm saying, he, we was in business a long time ago, you know, he used to make trips, yeah. my boy Jay, he, he, he locked back up right now, you know what I'm saying, Free Jay, he used to make trips, you know what I'm saying, down that yeah. way, and both of them ended up getting caught, so you know, they were my plugs were down that way, yeah. West Palm and Miami. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of amazing that, like, two guys from Detroit, usually, like, 
the plug doesn't fuck with, especially black dudes, right? Yeah. Like, they usually don't fuck with black dudes from Detroit, right? So they, they were, but is that a true thing? No, nah, right? that's not true, man, but you know, but, but the, the thing the, the, the thing about what they say about blacks uh, and why they don't like to fuck with black because they end up running off sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you hear that in the movies. Yeah. You know when you see the movie and they're like, ah, no, I won't fuck with him because he's a black drug dealer, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they have to like prove to the connect. Yeah, yeah. Like paid in full, remember? Oh, yeah, When yeah. he gets rid of that yeah. direct connect and then he really starts making that cash. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And you know, they feel like the blacks are going to make it, uh, you know, shine more, you know what I'm saying? They get it, you know, bring more bring more attention to right right you know not saying? be low-key yeah right. yeah well we're looking forward to that series so you know stay tuned and we'll hopefully yft wavy straight out of philly rising talent coming out of philly his instagram and twitter is yft wavy he's got new music and visuals on the way he's got the i found a video below go check out his youtube check out his soundcloud and also go check out Action and Go Yard on SoundCloud right now. Those are his new singles. There was a way I found it. Get to the bag and count it. Don't you talk if you're not about it.